And for our first story of the day, Mike Wang seems to be up to something. <laughs> what you gonna do now, Stretch? What you gonna do, Stretch? You ain't got the moves. This is not basketball. And then, and then I can tap, I can tap the D-pad down. I get a super burst. The next archetype gonna make you wanna take off your game and just say to hell with 2K. He said, come back, please, Baluba. He just said ISO doesn't work. This community has got to go. Oh, come here. You thought you were done. Shoot over those things. I swear, everyone who liked that shit, you're a fucking nerd. And the dude shot six for 11 with us jumping at him. We jumped at him. I'm not gonna lie, quite frankly, I don't believe the patch dropped. And if, and if it did drop, then it's a disgrace. It all started with one tweet. It's been escalating for months now and pretty much all the drama that Agent Beamstar has been covering on 2K Drama Alert has been a result of the ISO over a stretch big dilemma. Three days ago on January 24th, 2019, Suante released a tweet saying, come back please, at Baluba. He's been gone for months. Nobody expected a reply, especially from Suante, who's, I mean, he said some pretty crazy things. This is what lame ass niggas talk about on Twitter. You guys are crying. You guys don't want to guard this. What the fuck is this, bitch? This not basketball. Shut your lame ass up. You clown nigga, look. Look, look at all this space. Look, look at this, look at this. Th this is literally a move, guys. Mike Wang responded, what's up, Suante? Suante responded, this and pushing needs to go. Zigzag needs to go also. Put that in 2K15, zigzag. What the fuck is he saying? <laughs> Basically, he was asking to nerf Stretch Big's ability to shoot over top of the defenders. In what can only be described as a miracle, Mike Wang responded saying, shot contest buff coming tomorrow morning, let me know. At first, everybody had to check to make sure it was a real account, because why would he respond to Swante out of all people? But I guess Swante has a way with words, because what followed the next day, nobody expected. Am I wrong or does every dribble guy run with a stretch? Stop hating us and embrace us. Incorrect. You are the reason the 2K community can't come together in Harmony Badge. Grinding really blocked me just because I want a more balanced game? Who blocks you, bruh? I don't follow because I don't want my timeline to be filled with negativity. I hope this patch kills stretches so people can stop bitching and I can focus on y'all and my YouTube. Unfollowing all the fakes tomorrow, YouTubers are not safe. Spamming dribble moves and getting an ankle breaker that a defender can't even control isn't skill, it's just abuse. By the way, ISO doesn't even work. Nobody good ISOs. You use two bigs on 2K and exploit it. Your opinion isn't valid, ISO would still drop you off though. The Council of Locks approves this message. This gotta be the dumbest thing I've seen on Twitter. He's right. What are defenders supposed to do to prevent multiple ankle breakers in one possession? Don't say play defense either. Okay, wait, hold on. I ran out of some epic music, but there's still some more tweets and we gotta get to the drama. Take ankle breaker animations out of 2K and I'd still beat my defender every time. That's what I did in 16. Power is a fucking idiot. People with the best records in the game ISO. And I don't have to zigzag and shoot over someone's head for it. I'm convinced power is autistic. What do you call this kind of dumb shit AIDS? I'ma really get my Twitter banned responding to idiots on here. Power, feel free to pull up on me anytime if you think ISO ain't shit. Just say when, I'll add you myself. If you base your offense on getting open shots and taking open shots, you'll never struggle to score when shot contest gets a buff. Now tell me you know more than the OG. <clears throat> okay, let's slow things down. The drama didn't start a few days ago, it started months before that, and I've been covering it on 2K Drama Alert, and it's good for me because it gives me good content. I guess it's kind of good for the community because it's really entertaining. But aside from all of that, I think everybody kind of just wants it to stop. But it continued to escalate until those tweets when it reached an all-time high. If you've been on Twitter, you literally caught it all. And it was people going at each other's throats. So I figured I'd hit up some of those people, some of the key guys in this ISO versus stretch big debates, ask them some questions, see where their mind's at with all the drama. It's literally, and I, I say this quite literally, it's done nothing. Yeah, y'all making ISO as some like 
divine art. It's like an y'all, art. Way it's an art. art. It is an art. Y'all it make y'all art. making it seem way harder than it is. Like it's a special talent that you Dude. born with. <laughs> bro, it is not. Talent. It takes it, it takes <laughs> months bro. to understand it, bro. Listen, <laughs> no, it doesn't, bro. Okay, I want no, you to. Does. I want you to roll the footage of the video that you were in. In New York, when Duke was playing on my guard, bro, he had no clue. He was just zigzagging. Win this game, yo. Win this game. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Duke. Go crazy, Duke. Go crazy, Duke. Go crazy, Duke. Bro, hold on, hold on. Don't lose the ball. Chief, you're six. Oh, okay. You're not making that. Let me go. Bam! You you can't shoot directly in people's face no more. Like I mean, you can't. Like like it happens, but not as nearly as often as it as it used to. Is that a good thing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a good thing. Have you seen those clips? Like, uh, I think uh, Poor Boy Sin put one up of somebody being not even close to their defender and 2K somehow registered it as lightly contested? Yes, I have. That's exactly what Davis wanted, though. No, it's not, he, bro. He I, just don't to... want P I just don't want... <laughs> I don't want my mom to be able to get on and go 7 for 7, okay? I just, I just don't want that to happen. Clearly is a problem. Dude, you a problem have what? your own says that we shoot over those. <laughs> hey, <bro. laughs> but I still do though, like exactly. There's an issue. Am I wrong? But I should. I, when I Man, say that, I don't, I don't on himself, bro. Oh. I don't. I don't mean. I don't mean shoot heavily contested and they go in. So you just shoot over the person and it counts as lightly, and you're satisfied with that. Oh, boy. Bro, actually, that's that's dead because you, you, we're talking about guards shooting over centers. There are plenty of centers that just shoot over other centers, bro. You're telling All me right, if you go to the com if you go to the comp stage, you're telling me you're not gonna see three center lineups, and it's just three centers on both teams just shooting over. And if, listen, look, I right, look. This is gonna end it. I right? how the shooting is now. It is exactly how it is in real life. KD can shoot over Curry, but not a hundred percent. If Curry sh come and defend KD shot, sometimes KD will hit. Duke brings up a pretty good point. A lot of people tend to quote realism when they're talking about changes they want to make to the game, but realism wouldn't work because a pure sharp, what, Stephen Curry, he shoots over defenders all the time, and you don't see pure sharps arguing that they deserve to shoot contested shots. Screen. Griffin launches Curry to the three. Can't give him any airspace. Blake Griffin, not accustomed Unbelievable. to guarding Steph Curry. It doesn't work. There's no way to have a skills gap with a realistic game. And as long as we're playing a video game, there's no way to make it exactly like real life. That's why it's okay to stray away from a realistic style of basketball if it makes the game more fun and adds a skills gap. It's a snowstorm right now. You have to excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing this for the documentary. I wanted to talk to Steezo because he's at the center of all this drama. A lot of people recognize him as the best dribbler in the NBA 2K community. And so I hit him up. He said he was down. We had an interesting chat. Oh! Where are you going? Yo, it's literally the coldest day of the year, and it is the snowiest day of the year. So we chose a pretty fucking bad day, I think. I've never shot contested shots ever, bro. When I shoot, I shoot open. All of the motherfuckers that say I just spam my right stick could never do what I do on that court. They do is they spam their left stick and they go left to right. But the shit I do is real combos. It's like a fighting game. You ever played a fighting game? Everybody knows you can do combos and it all connects to each other. That's essentially what I'm doing. Yeah, you gotta really just break down the game and just learn this shit. Like it's it's complicated shit. That's why when I hear people disrespect the shit that I do that I work for, it's kind of like it's petty to me. Cause I know the truth of why they, you know, everybody has to do that because like, let me just say it like this, like, that's like you agent, you know, like you being fat, right? And I'm not saying you fat person, I'm just saying like, no, I'm not, I'm not saying you fat person, I'm using you as an example. Uh, go ahead. That's like you being fat, for you being fat, you have to talk shit on all the skinny people to make being fat cool. Like, oh, being skinny take no skill, all they do is spam diets, like, like, shut the fuck, <laughs> like, what are you saying? What? <laughs> like they have to do that you a youtuber you claim you the greatest youtuber you have to make what you do like the greatest shit ever even if you just zigzag and shooting in people's faces you know people are always gonna flock to what's easiest to win and that's fine as a video game you know that's up more to baluba to patch those things and that's why it's cool that he finally came back yeah. but yeah i mean that's a video game everybody's gonna flock to what's the easiest to win but just be honest about it bro you're using an exploit don't diminish and disrespect what i do that actually takes skill just to make yourself like look better that's just lame bro it's iso movement i don't know what people did i i created this shit bro like this is when people talk shit about iso i'm like damn they they talking shit about me you know what i'm saying 
I've been seeing the stupidest shit on Twitter today. This man Power just said that ISO doesn't work. He just said ISO doesn't work. This community has got to go. This is what I want to do to all stretch bigs right here. All stretch bigs. I don't care who you are. This is what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to pull up. I'm going to do this. Oh, you ain't finished. No. You ain't done. You thought you were done, huh? Oh, come here. You thought you were done. You'll find no better illustration of what the 2K community is like than this one screenshot here. How are the adjustments for 2K19? Big differences? One says, they're bad, bro. The other says, shot contests actually register now. It's like everything is split down the middle and we can't agree on anything. The sad part is, is this was never an ISO versus stretch big debate. The whole reason all of this conversation even started was because people were mad you were running on the threes with three big men or the twos with two big men that should never be happening that means guards are no longer a part of the meta and if that's the case that means there's a major issue and some changes need to be made it kind of slowly morphed into one with all the talk about how your archetype takes no skill and mine does and anytime those kinds of accusations are being thrown people feel the need to defend themselves and of course that put grinding in the center of all of this drama as one of the most popular stretch bigs on the game he was taking a lot of heat. Unmuted to say yeah. <laughs> hey, no, I did not say that. Oh my god, you're trying to demonize me. Fam, it's, li it's Bro, literally- you say all stretch bigs are the same, Davis. Don't even backtrack now. Uh, that's not the biggest issue. The issue is two centers on twos. Okay. It's toxic. The, the thing is, that this, this patch kind of like separates the good stretch bigs from the bad, in my opinion. Because you can't like shoot overheads anymore. You actually have to be able to get yourself open. And, and Davis, despite what you think, it's hard to get yourself open. With two centers, <laughs> if you can't shoot overheads, bro. It's like, it's the same. Well, I shoot mostly open shots, but like the shots that were like lightly contested and I would make them, they're like heavily contested now. So that's AIDS. And it's like lockdowns and centers contested. It's not guards. If you patch shot contest, then it's going to affect everybody, not just stretches. Like stretches are the best shooting archetype. So if you patch us, you're patching everybody. What would you think if Mike Wang was to say, all right, since there's a lot of people angry about what was done, or they might not agree with it. We're going to change everything back to the way it was before. Would you agree bro, with just that? Leave it alone. No, no, no. Bro, you, like, you can't keep changing the game over and over again. Like, you're never going to please everybody. This patch is good, bro. Like, the only stretch bigs complaining about this are the trash stretch bigs. Like, I'm not complaining about that. You can still get open. Go for it. You've nerfed stretch bigs four times now, bro. Four times. <laughs> what, what more do y'all want? To be honest, like G Man, what, what what would you do? Stretch bigs or I don't even care about them at the point. Let me as a primary playmaker hold the ball more. Like not get ripped as much. I understand a lockdown he can rip me, but a 60 overall spamming me one time and then boom, he's got the ball. It just makes no sense at all. Uh, one more thing I wanna say, bro, stop attacking this stretch bigs, y'all. We we didn't make the game. <laughs> We're playing the game. It's not our fault. We, we picked an archetype before the game counter. If you switch to a stretch big, then yeah, come at them. But bro, some of us just got lucky. Posi I mean, they hate on the position of itself, but the two centers is like what makes it worse. Yeah, and I agree. That's why I run two power forwards. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> There's an eerily similar situation coming out of the Tekken 7 community, where Jack 7 is commonly recognized as the overpowered easy to use big damage combo character oh, wow. and a character like devil Jin is a lot more nuanced way more complicated although if you can find a way to master it brings you great results unlike 2k where it's different youtubers and players pointing the finger saying your archetype takes no skill that doesn't happen in tekken but you will see the chat frustrated each time you go into a top eight and everybody's using jack which makes it all the while greater when a player like Kudans comes in, uses one of the hardest characters in the game, and manages to win a World Tour final. Here for JDC, oh, the he, so close! Oh, oh, no, sweet. Oh, he missed it. That. That's not what you want to have. Okay. That jump. This is an outrage. Oh, oh the red dart. Is that gonna oh, do it? Oh, he's killed him. What the? I can't believe it. I can't. Oh my God. It. 
I think that's partly why channels like Steezo are blowing up. Because doing moves like this with a slashing shot creator or a pure sharpshooter should not be possible, yet they find a way to make it happen in real games. You might think to yourself, maybe it was just edited to make it look that way, but then you watch a stream and he's doing it all over again. There's something inherently interesting about watching something very challenging be done. It's why a lot of players in the gaming community respect games like CSGO and Rainbow Six because if you can find a way to master those games, you can master anything. And so the ISO guys make a very good point. If you want to make 2K more interesting, you also want to make the game more challenging. Because once you master the skills the way that they have, it becomes a lot of fun. The unfortunate reality is that you have an archetype and you spent dozens of hours grinding that archetype to get the badges you may have even spent some money to upgrade the attributes and so you don't want to see that player go down the drain with a patch see when you play rainbow six if you patch jaeger and take away the acog because spawn killing is too op you can just switch to another operator no big deal but in 2k you invest so much time into every single player it's a big blow and so a lot of people in these arguments aren't really thinking what's best for the game, they're thinking, what's best for me, how do I benefit from this situation, and as long as we're having those conversations, there's gonna be no end. It would be nice if there was an alternative. I know a lot of people argued that the archetype system is at fault for this, and if we just took it away, then just like 2K16, 2K would be perfect, but I'm sure just like 2K16, there's gonna be more issues to follow if that's the case. But it does lead you into an interesting argument, right? Because if you're arguing there's only one archetype capable of defending these players that are so overpowered, is everyone required to make that archetype just to play good defense? Or is playing good defense enough for them to get the stop? Yeah, I mean, there's, a little, there's a lot of questions to be answered, ladies and gentlemen, and those questions are being tossed around. And what I would argue is just circular conversations. They're not really going nowhere, it's just the same fucking shit being said by the same people, the same shots being thrown, and that's why I think a lot of people are beginning to get sick of it. How many friendships have you lost? <laughs> <laughs> Zero, bro, but I do have people muted on Twitter, bro. <laughs> Come on now. I'm tired of <laughs> What did you mute, man? What the fuck did they bro, say? Bro, nah, bro. Stop, bro. I'm not going. I'm not. Yo, you Agent Beamstar, bro? It's a pretty seemingly small issue, but it's resulted in so much drama. So much going back and forth on Twitter. So many videos that have released and some ruined friendships along the way. I feel like of all the responses and the arguments that I've heard, the one that makes the most sense is the one Poor Boy Sin offered. And I mean, I, I guess it kind of adds up. He's played the most park games of anyone in the 2K community. And he was on Twitter saying this. It's the ball control vulnerability that's a the problem. They're shooters, they're supposed to shoot. You may think I'm trash, you may not like me, but no, I know the most about mechanics on this game. When I say shot contest isn't the problem, it isn't. I play double center lineups every day and look at my record. Come on, man. Sin. You're lost if you don't see shot contest as the problem. I didn't say it isn't the problem, but you as well as I don't expect your build to contest anything. The problem is y'all think a shot contest buff is gonna stop stretches, and it's not. Comp stretches won't be affected. And although I do agree with Sin that maybe the more egregious thing going on here is the fact that stretches or glass cleaners can run point guard and not get ripped all the time, because if you just took their ability to dribble away, then they would need a point guard regardless, and they wouldn't be able to run those three big man or two big man lineups anyway. And so on that point, I do agree with Sin. But on one tweet, poor boy Sin is saying shot contest isn't a problem, but then on the next tweet he's saying, I didn't say it isn't a problem. The same way you want to reward stretch bigs or any archetype for getting open and shooting open shots, you also want to reward defenders, regardless of whether they're a lockdown defender. If I play perfect defense and I'm in the perfect spot every single time, then there's no reason I should be shot over top of. Especially if my character has like a 70 shot contest and a maximum wingspan, right? But even if that isn't the case, at what point do we agree the archetype system is broken and we can't use that to justify not rewarding someone for good defense? It is frustrating getting shot over, over and over and over again by a stretch big, but if you stop them from having the ability to handle the ball as fluently as they do now, then you've solved the issue. They're gonna have to run with a guard. It's not gonna solve all the issues there is with NBA 2K19, but it'll sure solve some of the biggest ones. I zigzag, I play, this is how I play. He sets a screen, I just zigzag like this over and over and over again. And on the inbound, I just run around, I just run around, I run around like this. I'm so good at the game! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is real basketball! All you guys that complain about this! 
you're just getting dropped off even though you have 91 percent ladies and gentlemen we survived nba 2k18 doesn't that go to say something the worst gray boring depressing 2k of all time and we made it through there we uploaded videos we tried to make it interesting and entertaining but it was a dead game we have 2k19 now and it's quite the opposite ladies and gentlemen and i understand nobody wants to make a million changes to the game even mike wang said it himself but let's not pretend the game is perfect and that no changes need to be made We've established stretch big shouldn't shoot over top people when perfect defense is being played. We need to reward good defense. We know that. If you want to remove the all big man lineups, all you have to do is make it so that if you have a garbage ball control rating, it becomes immensely easy to rip you, especially with the lockdown defender. You mean to tell me if we implement those two things alone, just make a tiny bit of change, that 2K19 won't be a glorious game? That it won't be a fuck ton of fun to play with a bigger skills gap. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to demand that Baloo becomes back. I don't know where he's gone, and I don't know where he's at right now, but we need to make at least some change, man. Because the buff was a start, but it didn't solve all the issues. Let's take shoving out the game. Who the fuck thought of that idea? I don't know. Fire that guy. Shouldn't be in the game. It's just simple stuff. Joining people's parties and neighborhoods should be easier. Microtransactions, let's reduce those. And ladies and gentlemen, if they just follow those very, very easy steps, NBA 2K19 can be the greatest 2K of all time. But until they do, let's not pretend like the game is fucking perfect.